Hey, 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 my name is Sega, and um, welcome back on our episode of Lord of Heroes. Today, I'm gonna play a little bit of War of the Titans and do some summons because it's not because I want Ondal, it's not here, it's because I want the weapons for Olivia on a street. So, I'm gonna do like 20 summons, I believe. Then maybe I'm gonna do the strikers review or how I equip my strikers. But if you guys got any questions, if you wanna see any builds, just ask, just let me know in the chat. Okay. Let's go this strikers. How I got equipped like Olivia as you can see she's my baby girl <laughs> she's massive on her skills I recommend if you don't have any or if you don't got enough upgrade skills just try to focus on her ultimate but to be honest everything works fine on her just yeah because her basic attack can heal her, so that's a sustain for her. Gloves, you get a uh, attack bonus, so attack buff. Her second skills helps a lot because the revenge of the counter attack buff. And that's it. You got damage here, you got sustain here, and you got more damage here. Some things that helps a lot here to master up is because you fill up the action gauge by a hundred percent that's like almost a second turn it depends on the speed of the enemy build you could get if, if you are really lucky you can clean up uh weight of enemies in just one turn or just do a lot of damage to the boss because of this buff plus the damage about her equipment that's the second one right with always stuff like this yeah rally weapons i recommend the the divine one it's really good i don't have her as you saw in the beginning of the video i failed two thousands link sounds just trying to get this weapon. I'm gonna keep trying, but it sucks <laughs> not to get even the tire one. So I'm using the default one, the, the relic one, which gives me 7% more attack. That's really good. Try to get with the strikers, try to get more than 4,000. Maybe you, no, no, just, yeah, just to be honest, above. 2000 is okay. Use 4000 is got. It's really good. Try to get more health and defense, but it doesn't matter. You need to support your strikers with um, tanks or supports like clerics because they are here to do damage to kill the enemy, not to defend their, themselves. The speed is really important. Critical hit rate try to go about 80%. Critical hit damage, this is really important too. So try to get over 200 here. You don't need the buff rate, you don't need resistance. But focus on critical hit rate, critical hit damage, speed, and attack. I will pull this order. Uh, Critical hit rate, attack, hit damage, and speed. Now let's check all the equipment that I have. I'm gonna change this one later on. Okay, I'm gonna start showing the equipment for Light Olivia. The weapon with attack, speed, critical hit rate, 
at the important ones. Body armor, we attack, speed, critical hit damage, some attack. Gloves, we attack, hell, speed. Oh, and remember, I'm gonna try to explain oh, what to say. Who is for? Is for Lion Olivia. Boots with attack, critical hit rate. And let's see the weapon is for Olivia, but Lai Lai Ray. I need to swap all these three. And the ring too. Ring and it was too. Ring with critical hit damage, critical hit rate, and speed. And necklace with critical hit damage, attack, critical hit rate, and speed. This one for the strikers. If you Oh no, if you nah nah never mind. Just focus. Try to get all critical hit damage on rings and necklace. Try to get critical hit rate on the other four parts. Okay. Let's check the next one. We got Water Elga. Let's call her Dragon Elga. She's the young version of the all Elga, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, same thing. I got over four thousand of attack. As you can see, critical hit rate, critical hit damage, and some speed. She's slow, to be honest. About her weapon. Wait, we need to check the skills first because she's really good. I got her max, as you can see. Plus, I got all these levels for attack. I don't know if this is good or bad. Wait, I'm a little bit lost here. But, try to mask her ultimate and maybe her second skill because you're gonna do more damage if the number of targets decrease on the field. Plus, this one could work twice if you use her basic attack and this buff or this effect activate or trigger that's the 70 percent you're gonna do this one so to be honest it's really important to have the basic one just to get more change more percent yeah She's expensive to build, but she's really good. She's the best water striker hero at the moment for me. Thanks, uh, like Olivia. I mean, yeah, like Olivia. Yeah, she's the best. She, well, yeah, the second, second best, like striker or the yeah, striker like hero. Yeah. Okay, let's check her weapon. About the relics, I only got the, the first one, Tiger 3, which is really good, more critical hit rate. I got enough, so yeah. Nah, no, nah, no, lucky. Her weapon for her with attack, critical hit rate, critical hit damage, body armor with attack, sun speed, gloves with attack. Critical hit rate, critical hit damage, and speed, and as for yeah, and that's the purple one. Body armor is for her. Shoots, boots with attack, speed, critical hit rate. From Warrior Snyder. Ring for her, critical hit damage, critical hit rate, and the set. Necklace for. That's fire other critical heat damage speed critical heat rate. Mm, I will say this one is really good to buy for the one of the best fire heroes. And that's it. Let's go to the next one. Oh, I forgot the tires. Yeah. Um. Remember, I'm gonna leave a list of tires on my description. And I believe the tire 
double S or Fly Olivia, Water Dragon Knight Helga, Fire Astrid, Dark Astrid. Um, I might miss one, yeah, for the no one or two at the least. I need to check the other tire list that the one I did on Spanish because maybe Fire Mikael could get their life run maybe maybe not sure like direct for sure she is a tire double s dark lumis for sure she's one of the best strikers in the game um does it we got two light two dark one water one fire and let's say tire double s that's it yeah i might be wrong if i don't pick up her lucilica but i believe she's better as a tire s the double s plus i believe her light ray is better than here okay let's continue with fire archery and her double s about her skills Try to match her ultimate, I believe that's the only one. Oh, wait, on her passive, the one that increases speed because she's a special, she's speed dependent. More speed means more attack, more damage. Okay, that's it for the skills. Let's check her equipment and at least I guess. Uh, uh, one of my favorite strikers with a really whip, whip, a really good weapon, the Divine Relic, which I believe is yeah, the best one. Uh, from here we got a critical rate. That's good. That, that's really good to be honest. The second one. Oh wait, I got yeah. The second. Wow, this guy is really lucky. The second one, up an attacking 50% chance to increase the user action guys by 25%. Really good too. And the third one, up an attack, is gonna trigger the, the second skill. So you got 30% and you can raise up these two. Worry, oh wow, that's like 55%. That's a lot. So really good, really good to be honest. Um, I recommend this one, of course. Though any other weapon is really good. Cool. Let's check her equipment. But first, remember before all this, she needs a lot of speed, she needs a lot of attack, she needs critical hit rate, critical hit damage, so she's really hard to build someone might ask if i got a ring necklace or any substance that increase critical hit damage for speed the answer is yes it's very critical hit damage over speed because speed is same as damage if you get damage here or speed here is the same thing but all this is gonna double for the critical key rate and it's gonna do the percent here like better so it's better to have more critical hit damage uh, i don't have health so she's really easy to kill no defense is really good but it's because i haven't found any good equipment to replace some defense for attack okay let's check her weapon which is for her with defense as i mentioned before attack speed critical hit rate we need to look for all these substats in the other uh, gear and the other parts body armor 
it's for her this one is really good for this the speed the passive with attack which is really good critical hit rate and speed 19 speed gloves with attack critical hit rate and speed that's the purple one shoots with attack speed and critical hit rate and it's for her so I got really two this is I will say three here ring with critical hit damage critical hit rate speed and some attack purple one and necklace which is for from dark crumb with a speed critical hit rate and attack so this is the team I really want to swap this one for critical hit damage but I haven't found any any good one with a super stat of speed and attack or critical hit rate so yeah just swap this one for more damage but she also she does a lot of damage to be honest at the moment uh, right now she does a lot of damage next one uh another double s one of the best strikers in the game and the <laughs> one of the <laughs> expensive ones she has 17 oh, i think i'm sure here boys like 77 million 77 million 70 minus all seven so <laughs> So it's like like 77 million gold, which is really expensive. About her skills, I got her mass. I recommend just to get the, well, yes, to be honest, she's really expensive on the skills too, because her ultimate, you can get her to two stars, which is really good, or two energy or two spirit does more damage and it got this buff which is 30 percent attack power that can stop three times and if you get this to level five it will be five percent for more for a start so it's like 35 percent no way it's 40 40 percent no way it's, it's 20 at first but then if you get level up it's gonna get up to 13 percent plus 20 percent damage plus minus ones on the spirit so you get two which is really good and this one is not like like olivia which give her a hundred percent acting gauge which could be even better but you could do double turn because um you get the the basic one you get a leech buff and a divine luck buff the divine luck i believe is the one that give you a yeah extra turns you get that 25 percent of extra turns which is really a small but sometimes you can get the extra turn plus you need a critical hit to get this you can get three extra turns so you only need like six energy bill i never seen three i saw just just one yeah not not even twice <laughs> really hard to get but you get the change there so it's better to level this up it's better to level the second skill up too because you get another um, berserker buff which is more attack for three turns yeah it reduces health by 10 percent but you gain increase of uh, increase on on attack and defense by 30 percent which is really good too that's a lot of damage plus her passive plus and her passive against like enemies okay so she's just a kill machine 
I didn't get here with them. So I recommend this one. Increase damage against light elements. Oh wait, I don't really recommend this one. I uh, I recommend this one because it looks really good or just for the light elemental enemies. But the first one I believe this one is better. I mean, it's not really good, but it's better for for the moment. Yeah, just for the health. More sustain. She don't need sustain because she's here to do damage, bill. Yeah. As you can see, I got uh, not good stats. She's really slow. Not really good critical hit rate. So, so critical hit damage. It's better to have 200 here, as I said before. Check her weapon, which is for Helga, the Dragon Helga, with attack, critical hit damage. Her body armor with attack, critical hit rate, which is her. Gloves with attack, critical hit rate for her too. Purple boots with attack, critical hit rate. Ring with critical hit damage. Attack and speed. A necklace, which is fire barretta necklace with critical hit damage speed, critical hit rate. I need to get better, better equipment for her, so I'm waiting a couple days and see if I got lucky on her birthday. Next one, the tire S. Yeah, because the other tire double S, as I said before, are dark lumi and light light ray but i don't got uh, any of them maybe these two because um fire mikhail is new and stats are really good the first one the basic one is it can stack damage so it's good for for him and the long thorns his second skill Will do yeah more damage and you could have a extra turn if you land a critical hit and his ultimate five plus additional damage so is high x is uh, it, it could it could do five times more damage to the enemies that depending on the maximum health so that's a lot of damage we got the increase of critical hit damage by 10% one of his passive this one should be the first to mass up then his ultimate then his second skill yeah second skill and then the first one this one is more damage against our elemental enemies Life French is really good too, so I will say maybe these two. So we got too many light heroes on the on on double S. I'm gonna leave them. Maybe tire S. I don't know yet. I'll, I'll let you know at the end of the video. The first one for the tire S list, we got fire Alep and why fire Alep because. She does a lot of damage, but the damage she does is AOE, so area uh, area of effect. I mean, she does damage uh, like a nuclear bomb. Her Vexi, her Vexi attack can give her an uh, extra turn. So if you combine the basic attack with her relic weapon but this one you get a chance to use the second skill the relic weapon is one of the best you could use this skill and wipe uh, a tons or do a tons of damage you could do this once then it might activate one more time if you kill the enemy so you could do this up to four times which i haven't seen any way to survive four times of this damage so she's 
really good because of that. Plus, her ultimate does a lot of damage in our difference, so you don't need the purchasing gear, bro. If you got the purchasing gear, just more damage. So the first one to mass, I believe you need to mass all of them. Yeah. Well, you don't need this passive, but she, this passive is gonna help her to survive more time than the party fuel. About her equipment, I already told you this one is the best weapon because it can activate or trigger the second skill. Every hero that has this effect is good. It's really good. Her weapon, which is Fire Barretta with attack, quick hit rate, and that's it. Uh, all this gear is, is not the perfect one for her because I disabled her to, to get water Elga better. So, yeah. As you can see, the, the attack, the, the damage, health, and defense. So, on the speed, which is a lot for her. Critical hit rate, which is okay. And critical hit damage, which is slow, it's medium, it's, it's okay. Her body armor, which is her with defense, critical hit damage, critical hit rate, and some attack globs with attack, critical hit rate, critical hit damage, which is her boots for her with health. Speed, critical hit damage, and critical hit rate. Really good soup stuff. Not the main one. Green with critical hit damage. Sun attack and speed. And necklace with speed because I don't have uh, any other ne good necklace. Because I, uh, I won't put critical hit rate. I don't need this one on, on her. I need critical hit damage, but I haven't found any necklace, any good necklace yet. So I got speed with some attack and critical hit rate. And I got a copy of her, which I level up this aptitude, this one, which give her 10% more attack. The offense one is the best one for the strikers. You get attack, you get 25%. Oh wait, 10 critical hit rate and 15% critical hit damage. You don't need all of this. You don't need health or speed or oh, the buff, right? So this one is the best. Okay. We got another tire, which is her Luzilica. I recommend for El Luzilica her second school as her real damage build. Then her ultimate and her first passive. Her basic attack, it helps her, but to be honest, it helps her not really good. Her equipment, we got her relic weapon, we got the, the divine relic. The user deals a critical hit rate. If the user deals a critical hit, increase the user critical damage by 12% and you can stop this five times really good effect i recommend to mass set up this one bro this thing is random so yes yeah, really perfect even for a while uh yeah because you can buy links or so you, you can i'm not sure i'm gonna try to check then later because i want more weapons i got dupes for her and you can see it, all the stats here they are really good, bro. The critical hit damage, I need to get better critical hit damage plus damage. We got weapon for her with attack, critical hit damage, body armor for fire Rosanna with defense, speed, and attack. I believe I need to change this. Yeah, I believe this one is better. We got attack here. Gloves. For her with attack and critical hit damage, boots with attack, her melee boots, speed, and the set. Uh, we got the ring from R9 with critical hit rate. I uh, got nothing else good here. Necklace with critical hit damage, some attack, 
by your Joshua make us make this what this we got out of here and it only is recommend gloves I need to swap this okay um next one we got another tire s she's really good this one is really good i don't focus on her yet because i got two really good fire heroes here and i just need to be honest just need those two one for area attacks and one for single attacks plus i always use these two like olivia dark astri so i just need two more and that's water helga i waiting for any good 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 really good air striker bell really really good maybe maybe i'm thinking to level up air mikhail because it's unique but not sure yet so let's go with the tire s here we got on skills i recommend to yeah try to get her ultimate up uh, I believe you don't need anything else, just her ultimate. Maybe this one, this one is, yeah, this one too, but it could be on, on second place. Her passive, I mean, her, her basic skill, uh, it's okay, but not really good. One passive, two passive for damage, yeah, really good. Her equipment, I, I got no no really weapon her weapon which is for her with attack and speed that's it body armor for her with health attack critical hit damage really good critical hit damage to be honest gloves for her we health speed and some attack it's okay boots with attack health and speed and it's for her she got really good uh, gear here, sets here. Well, as you can see, all the health, not so much attack and non defense, make her really weak on this side. I need to swap something. The got health, maybe this one, but we got really good sub stats. Oh, this one, yeah, with the 20 speed no this one I, I could swap this one for attack maybe this one would be better more attack but this one right here with critical hit rate oh, wow and i'm gonna think this one later green with critical hit rate as her critical hit damage necklace with critical hit damage speed and the set as purple one this one is critical hit rate and critical hit damage and we got wow i could get a lot of critical hit damage if i i pay more attention to her but well later we can try okay let's go to the next tire s many tires we got one two three four five yeah on our tires, green Mikael or air, air Mikael. For him, I'm using a lot, I should use him more. I recommend the this one, Ulti, his ultimate. Yeah, he's not really good on, on raids, but he does a lot of damage. Mm and that's it he's passive too about his equipment i got a new weapon increase the user the user action goes by 20 is okay but this one is better the first one with uh more speed we don't need that uh, his weapon with attack and that's it his body armor with defense, critical hit damage on attack, which is his uh, gloves with attack, ermical two, and the set boots with health, speak 
critical, uh, critical hit damage and hermical too. That's it. We got a lot of health. None. Nah, it's, okay, it's okay on attack. It's okay on, on defense. None speed. Critical hit rate is okay. Critical hit damage needs more. All say is okay. Ring, critical hit damage, fire rush and ring, and some attack, and that's it. Necklace, it's a purple one with critical hit rate, with critical hit damage. And that's it. I need to check his equipment later, and maybe try to ascend him to orange stars which gives me more critical hit rate 10% more would be really good more attack more defense but uh, oh i got none of this i need wow 24 that's a lot plus this well this one is easy to get yeah not this time Okay, let's go for the last one. I believe the last one that I raise is Water Walter. He's another speed dependent, so try to get a lot of speed on his passive, on his ultimate. And that's it, I believe. Bro, this one is really good. He's really good, and it's gonna help him to get twice this attack which is really good for damage um he could buff him for the speed by six percent for every ten percent of hell lost you can use this twice okay because this one this weapon is really good and it's the second one they they refine Someone will say, yeah, the, the Divine is better because you got a 60% change to increase the user speed for two turns and you, I mean, speed for two turns, it means you will need more turn to finish the enemy when you could do two skills and finish the enemy at once because you get an extra turn, you got 40% change to get the extra turns. To get 50, even 60 percent change, which is really high. His weapon with defense is Walter. What a Walter, yeah. With critical hit damage, that's it. Body armor with health, with some speed, some attack, critical hit damage, a purple one. Gloves from Dark Astri with health. So on speed a really high speed, critical hit damage on attack, boots, fire acid boot with speed on attack, the main strategy is attack, rain with speed and critical hit rate from the ostrich, necklace critical hit rate, on attack from air 9 and the set as you can see all the stats. Not really good, they need to swap some stats for maybe attack, defense is okay. I need a thousand more on attack. The speed I will say is okay. Critical hit rate is okay, but I need a really, I really need critical hit damage. So I need to swap something here. Anyway. Water water, he's really good invest on him if you got the change. Now let's check the wow from 13 strikers. The total is 24, but I only got 13. We almost done. Hmm. Um let's check tire A. I'm gonna say water Elga fire Joshua. Maybe Water Snyder. Maybe Fire Snyder. Not sure. Oh, I'm gonna leave the entire B. But no, it's not even fair. Let's check Water Elga. 
her skills. I recommend the ultimate. That's it. That you don't need this one and this one. This one you can get her for the sap damage, which is really good. You only need to have like level five or level six for the cooldown. Yeah, but you can inflict damage, uh, poison or sap damage with her ultimate too, which you could get. Uh, the buff chains damage is pretty close up to three or down to three i will say passive with attack and that's it her basic attack kill her bone yeah we already know that, that doesn't work very well her equipment we got the first one yeah tiger two we got more attack 7%. I recommend the last one because you get a 50% chance to increase the ocean uh, go by 25%. The refine you can inflict sub damage with basic attacks. Yeah, I will say this one is better to be honest. Let's be honest here, but we need to do sub damage on OLX all the time. So this one is the best weapon for water elga yeah basic damage sub damage basic i mean basic attack sub damage second skill sub damage ultimate sub damage yeah really 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 good i wish i could get this one on um, well you, you can see her stats not really good though i don't use her much none after I got John Helga. Okay. Her weapon, which is her, with attack, critical hit damage, and that's it. Body armor with defense, which is her, with zone attack. Gloves from air light ray with attack, critical hit ray, critical hit damage. Boots from water Elga, which is her, with health, speed, and zone attack. One ring with critical hit ray from fire asterisk with critical hit damage too. And an echo with critical hit damage. Zone attack. This is really good 12%. And it's her. Do it the set. Well, let's go to the other tire 8, which is fire Joshua. Fire Joshua is not meant to be a damage dealer but a uh, support striker and this is why her I mean his his basic attack is really good because the action got reduction just for one target for the single one but the queen and butter is his Second skill, it grants the ally with the highest attack power invincibility. For one turn, this translates like Fire Vanessa ultimate. Just a single target, but really good to help you strikers. Plus, you get a buff of increased attack power for the striker that use this skill so really good really good but to mask this skill uh maybe yeah uh, more attack more duration really good they minus one cooldown yeah every three turns really good really good you don't need anything less not even his ultimate which it has a chance to reduce the attack power and defense for two turns really good Two, but try to use in combo with another strike. Okay, let's go to his equipment. You need him really fast because, yeah, second skill protect you, striker. So he needs to be really fast before the enemy. I mean, yeah, not faster than the other guys or your allies. You need to be. To make him tanky, so try to get defense and health. Weapon with defense is fire, just a weapon with critical hit damage, attack, and a speed. You don't need this bell, speed, and yeah, the, the health and defense substats. I got no rally weapons. Well, nobody does. You 
be honest. <laughs> Fire armor with attack is his Fire Joshua. We. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I got this one because. Yeah. It got defense. Oh, well. Yeah, defense. That's the important one. <laughs> what I'm saying. You need speed or defense or health. Gloves, which is like Olivia. Gloves with health. I need to level up these gloves with speed and defense. That's it. Boots with defense. Fire Joshua boots with health. And that's it. One ring because I think I, I got no other strikers near piercing ones. So this one is a efficacy ring with speed because I need the speed. As I mentioned before, I got some help here, but uh, this is just momentary. Necklace with speed, fire using necklace we hold on the set. You don't need any threat. You can make him uh do uh, some damage too, but yeah, other strike will do more damage. Okay, next one we got fire Snyder, fire Snyder. Let's see skills yeah all of his skills are like uh, how, he can he can have sustain because with his basic attack he heals with his second skill he heals with his ultimate he heals so he could heals, heals himself really good for raids maybe the water race is the only one but no not the water one the the, the air one the one he will get killed <laughs> the, the air one the air one and he's passive you try to get this one up but yeah don't invent on him he's not really good he's really weapon the last one because he lose cool that's it <laughs> Equip him with a lot of, yeah, the same as the other strikers. A lot of attack, some health, some defense, some speed, a lot of critical hit damage, and some critical hit rate. That's it. I don't have him with a really good setup, but I'm gonna show you right here really fast. Because I don't use him. I'm gonna try using him on fire. I mean, uh, yeah, fire and air race. And last one we got Water Snyder. He's good for PvP only because of his second skill attack on enemies, 80% chance to reduce their action gauge by 25%. And that's it, you don't need his ultimate and his basic attack. Fish is not really good to be honest. It sucks. More damage here on his passive, but to be honest, he's not really good. He should use for PvP. His weapon, we're gonna use this one because he lose cool. That's it. Weapon, which is key. Oh no, it's what is also yeah i'm showing this just because but not because i recommend try to get same more attack some health some defense speed well this is pretty too yeah. critical hit rate critical hit damage a lot of critical hit damage and that's it we are done we finished fire michael i believe he could be tired double s i will yeah i don't have him so i don't know but as i can see i can read he could be tired double s like frank she i put i will put her tired s her mailing she's used for pvp purpose pvp only i think i believe i can recruit her yeah maybe later Tire B, yeah. Oh, oh, well, yeah. See, oh, no, D. Tire B. 
Dark Chrome. Dark Chrome, he's like a support striker, Saints and as uh, Fire Joshua. He's not here for a lot of damage or to do a, a, a lot of damage. He could do some damage because he's a striker and you can build him to do a lot of damage, but his main purpose is because this skill increases allies attack power and defense for two turns. Really good buff. One of the best ones and we got that buff and a better buff with fire. Uh, oh my god, I forgot her name, but the fire Damn. I forgot her name. Uh, I'm gonna tell you later. Okay, Air Light Ray, she's tired S, she's one of the best air strikers. Yeah. Air 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 strikers, yeah. Light Light Ray, Tire Double S, she's the reason of PV, uh, I mean, uh, Fate to Win. <laughs> because this skill, Invincibility for one turn, for, for her, yeah, I believe just for her, yeah. Plus a lot of damage, yeah, she's crazy. Fire Rosan, I believe Fire Rosan is another, uh, Supporter striker that can help other strikers because this one for the shield is really good to have sustain. So if you use a lot of strikers, she's a really good option. I don't recommend to buy her if you got money just for one hero. This is your best option, Darlumi, because she's the She's the only, no, she's the second one. She's the the second striker that could do sap damage. And sap damage is really important for the game. So she's the queen of poison. She's the best of the poison team. She's really good. Plus she could do a lot of damage because of his, I mean, of her ultimate for she deals some more damage for every buff on the user and every the buff on the enemy. That's a lot of damage. So she could do a ton of damage. She's really good. But if you got more money, you could buy like right too. You could buy. You can get her for contra. Yeah, I so. Yeah, yeah, recruit and buy heroes contra. So don't worry about her. You could get him, you could get her, you could get him. But that's it. Warrior Soulfish is really good at stunning enemies. She's, she's really. <laughs> you since you wanna stun enemies, just use her to stun. But damage, yeah, no, not really. Yeah, a lot of speed, a lot of stun on, on Colosseum, it might work. Earth Knight. Oh, Earth Knight is another support striker because of his um, second skill. 100% change to reduce the action gauge by 20%. Increase the increase the user action gauge by 20%. That's it. Yeah. You got another shield here. Yeah, so he's really support. And um, for last, we got Fire Barretta. Fire Barretta. She's another support strike. She doesn't do that much. Must damage increase the user attack power and defense for two turns. Use her and gain an extra turn. More than one. And a big gain. 77% chance for her look. Increase all allies speed for two turns. That's a support job. And that's it. So we got the tire for everybody. I explain everything and I show you all my equipment. So I'm gonna say thank you everybody for being here. This video is gonna be uploaded on my YouTube channel for Christmas. <laughs> A really good present. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you soon. Later.